Yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll set the ground rules again. Uh, it's mentioned yeah. on the chat window, but uh, for the sake of repetition, I just must say that uh, I think most of you all are following that, but uh, I will just repeat that please turn off your uh, video and uh, keep your uh, audio in mute uh, condition. Uh, questions can be posed at any point of time on the chat window. Uh, so Kushro says that uh, the, the the part of the the his part or the the um, he will basically take the session for approximately anywhere between uh, 35 to 40 minutes and uh, followed by Q and A. So at the same time, if any questions come to your mind, if you don't want to keep it for later on, you can always post them on the chat window. Uh, if the question is relevant and if it if it's very uh, uh, if it's very relevant to the at hand, I will post it to Kushru then and there. Else we will refer. To... Uh, can I request everyone to please turn on the uh, audio, please? Please mute your audio. I can hear some background noise. Please uh, turn off your uh, audio, please. I do not want to be doing this from my side, but uh, yeah. Request everyone to turn off their uh, audio, please. Yeah. So, uh, welcome to this session of the master class. Uh, the topic is very interesting, and the the speaker that we have is KJ Kushro Jilla, who we all know is a very very uh, senior uh, figure in our industry, very re well respected for his experience and what he brings to the industry. So, uh, Kushro is going to be talking on a very interesting uh, topic, which is uh, uh, selling luxury audio and uh, basically the hows and whys of, of that particular topic. So without further ado, over to you, Kushu. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, so right at the start, you know, off the bat, I would like to first categorize what luxury audio we are going to talk about. Okay, So I'm going to say we are not going to discuss the so-called well-known luxury brands, which are usually full brands, you know, like things like Bose, Bang & Olufsen, Diviale. There is... Those are pull brands. You don't need me to tell you how to sell that. Those things sell by themselves. You know, they, what we're going to discuss is push brands. Brands where you need to push. Uh, and that requires a fair amount of experience and knowledge about how, to, how you go about doing it. The second thing I'd like to differentiate is luxury audio versus high-end audio. Uh, luxury audio is based on lifestyle. High-end audio is based on a singular pursuit of a hobby. It's, 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 a, it's a daily and a sometimes, you know, weekly kind of a hobby that a person indulges. It's got nothing to do with uh, luxury lifestyle and, 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 and hi-fi used on a music-loving basis rather than a hobby of audio. So let's separate these two things and then we'll move forward. So how do you go about doing this? You know, what defines luxury? So when I say luxury hi-fi uh, audio, we are talking about people who are affluent, you know, people who have money and have aspirations, and they come to you for a solution because you are a vendor. And many a times, many people in our industry have a great amount of experience, local experience, about how you go about doing this. But I, I, no offense to anybody, I've been around, I've seen a lot. Our country is very different from the traditional audio markets. And we read magazines, reviews, and we go by that. You know, and an Indian affluent person is very different from a westernized or even an Asian uh, uh, market. Our market is very different from all of those markets. So how do you go about selling this as a vendor? The most important thing that a person wants to understand is how good is the person I'm dealing with? You know, how good are you? I mean, who are you? He enters your shop, she enters your shop. How do you create an impression upon that person? So the most important thing, I and mean, this is where high-end audio, what we defined earlier is different from luxury, but this is where it is joined at the hip. You know, the, the hip part is the demo part. You know, your demonstration setup has to be fabulous. The person is not going to buy it or may buy it. Mostly they won't buy it because it's very expensive. It takes up real estate. Uh, and it's not a hobby they want to pursue, but they come to a fundamental understanding over there that you as a dealer know what 
good sound is. You know, that's a very reassuring thing. You know, and they experience something which is quite extraordinary. Your demo has to be fabulous. I mean, you have to spend money on that. You have to uh, uh, cater to that demo. You know, you have to you have to learn how to give a great demo. You know, which which is a process. You, you will learn from seniors. You will learn from from other industry uh, people who are senior to you. But that demo has to be in place, and it has to be without distraction. You know, many stores have distractions going on. You're giving a serious demo, and you know, three other clients walk in, and you know, you're all confused, and it's, it's destroyed over. So get the demo in in control. You have to control that demo. Also, you are demoing the top end to sell realistic stuff. Okay, you are demoing the top thing to sell the realistic stuff. So your product mix has to be fabulous. You need to have a continuity in thought process between what you've shown and what you're going to end up selling. So I will take brand names. I hope people don't get offended, but I will take brand names. So let's say I, uh, you, you take a, a lovely brand like Dali. They have that top of the line Epicon series. I think it's called Epicon, if I'm not mistaken. And you show that big Epicon, not the biggest one, but you know some some a good Dali flow standard. You show it, give a great demo. Have your electronics, it could be whatever, whatever electronics and cabling layout and all that is very very well done. Client will say, I love this. I can't do this. Obviously, yeah. in most cases, they can't do it. But you should always be ready. Of course, you can't do it. Let me show you an on-wall version, which is more suitable to you because you have a house and maybe you, know, you can't give me the real estate for it. So your product mix is in place. The person hears that. He sees that you are willing to give a solution along the same lines. So it's very important to have a product continuity. You know? I mean, because what happens is many times you show a flow standard from a brand. And then when the client wants a solution, you're showing him something completely different. And that connect is lost. You completely lose that chain and train of thought. It's gone. Uh, uh, you know, then again, you're restarting the whole thing. You know? So avoid that. Have your product mix absolutely in place. Show the options right in the beginning. I have A brand, B brand, C brand. If you're doing and you have that financial ability and strength to do that, by all means, full power to you. But do not lose continuity of thought and chain. So your product mix has to be absolutely in place. Always. Okay. Now, while you're doing this, remember one thing. You need to gauge the customers in front of you. You know, you need to gauge them very well. The three pointers that I've always experienced and learned, you know. The footwear that the person's wearing, the pen the person is using, and the watch that person is using. A person could walk in with sandals and you are, but he could be having a very serious Mont Blanc pen with him. Take that person very seriously. He could be having neither. And he's wearing a very impressive watch. Take that person very seriously. Because as you gauge that person, it's a to and fro reaction. Because these are very smart people. Okay? And I'm going to use keep on using this term, these are very smart people. They exactly know the dynamics of what you're noticing and how you're noticing for a moment, don't think that he doesn't notice or she doesn't notice. They notice. Because you're gauging them and they do exactly the same thing in their life. They gauge you. So that engagement has to even be at a level which is silent and respectful. You know, So keep that engagement on and keep gauging that person. It's very important. So another thing that impresses a person when he talks to you is that, you know, You'll have to have a, a, a very good knowledge of music. All right. I mean, you you have to because, you know, you are in that business. The, 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 the audio system is selling is a means to an end. The end is the music experience they're going to have every day of their lives. 
is a very important aspect okay i cannot emphasize this enough you will have to have at any points of time very good knowledge of at least three genres of music and preferably one of those genres is a classical indian classical or western classical you know because that's looked upon as with great respect you know the rest could be bollywood have deep knowledge of bollywood you, you better know your if, if you think bollywood's your favorite thing and you know it's the genre that you better have very good knowledge right from saigal to what is happening today and 70s 80s and all those things you know if it's south indian music you better know it very very well in your kind of market you need to understand that because besides the system talking it's also what you say you know it's very important it's very connecting to the client and they look at you with respect you know and you have to have a lot of anecdotes of this in place you know a lot of anecdotes so i'll give you one anecdote so to understand you know this composer this music all that is fine you know but conversation is very important i'll give you an anecdote i don't listen to bollywood but here is a very famous famous uh, anecdote so manna day was once i told you have to sing a song in classical and he said yeah i'll do it and where you are the winner and there is a loser so he said yeah i'll do it you know so he says who sing opposite me so they said bimsen joshi manna day went home told his wife pack up for 15 days let's get lost i don't want to be a part of this however his wife convinced him that you know it's a movie your profession got to go back and manna day says the greatness of bimsen joshi was mm-hmm. Really he made me comfortable and he said you know you will do it and we'll do it and we'll finish it off he said that was the great ones of beans now that's an anecdote when you talk about this anecdote with a client the client say are yaar wow what this guy's knowledge is you know you have multiple anecdotes like that across genres could be rock jazz classical it's humor you are engaging in something beyond a hard cold sale you know problem with us is we get into that hard cold cold kind of sale you know and 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 we really mess up over there very badly because the client can sense it he knows you are there uh, to generate a sale and 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 that's what we all do we are there to sell it's the process of how we go about doing it we have to make a softer process we have to understand that you are dealing with somebody who has come with very little time to You know these clients. They have to. They don't have time. They ah, what's there? This this product, this brand, this everybody does. That. I'm not talking audio. Everybody does it in all industries. They do it in all industries. You want to you want to buy a car. You want to buy shoes. You want to buy this. They all do it. So you have to be different. You you, you have to be different. You are selling something that is indoors and is pleasurable. you know and for that you have to give them a different approach so bear in mind you know i mean knowledge of music is very important very 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 important otherwise what's the difference between you and any other regular seller okay now another thing that you what we face okay in the demo spectrum is that you will give a demo of everything and that you want and then there is that wonderful creature that we have we call interior designer and everybody uses that as an excuse you know are yaar interior designer came and he messed it up and this and that you know i face it you face it everybody faces it but there is a way to handle this and we've learned the way to handle this okay so insist on the architect or to the client boss you bring your interior guy over you know bring them you know i mean tell them come with the person we'll have a conversation now sorry just can you hear me karte yeah 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 sorry. Sorry. yeah yeah so you insist on the person coming and sometimes those very big interior designer not going to come they are not anyways but whoever does come okay and handle them architecturally by which i mean this one subject which we really need to catch on is knowledge of interiors and architecture that language spoken over it you know you have to defeat that and i'm using the word defeat okay not in an arrogant manner but you have to defeat that person's ar- aggression because they come with aggression they have no doubt 
they want a word they want to have the final say on the life or the lifestyle of the client you have to defeat them architecture meaning you have to have very good knowledge on architecture interior design trends in that and and don't just talk about buildings corporate buildings museums concert halls you know talk about concert hall that guy has no idea about it you should study concert halls a little bit you know here there you don't have to have some deep knowledge just some good knowledge of it you know and museums how av presentations are happening in museums that person will take a back seat that creature that you call a interior design architect na he will realize i cannot mess around with it you know my dadagiri stops over here. okay and this has been my experience because we have made two two three showrooms specifically i can say in gujarat you know where that minute that architect enters a place only he knows he cannot mess around he, they realize it so to defeat them architecture you have to have knowledge about architecture you have to have knowledge about interior designs and politely engage in a conversation and 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 and, and show an impression that don't teach me what to do because i know what you do okay you be the master of your subject don't try to be the master of my subject because a minute he they don't expect you to understand interior design and architecture and names of architects names of interior designers when you speak that language they know uh, don't mess around over here yeah? this guy will bury me right now. so that's a very important thing and while the architect is there and if he do manage to man even if he's not there the client you are dealing in lifestyle and lifestyle usually means a multi zone game you know it doesn't mean a, like a high end or you know, one place where the guy is going to this is his temple church mosque whatever you know is religious place of audio you know it's not like that lifestyle usually means multi zonal multi area what we don't take care of over here and insist on the client you know because he'll be impressed with this is that talk about the main scabling of the house how the earthing has to be done properly how the neutral has to be taken care of how they have to be all all on the same earth pit you will have to do this you know he'll say why i can i, I can connect any the electrical point so no you can't connect any electrical point you know baba you got to do this in this particular <laughs> manner for the money that you are spending please make sure this thing happens right in the beginning which is very impressive you know because something that they have not thought about and and it's it's it, it's a very normal thing but nobody thinks about it and when you talk about these small details you know all speaker cable lens be equal left speaker cable shorter than right speaker because the amplifier is to the left side no boss does not happen both speaker cable equal so these are things is why why spend money explain to him tell him boss it's it's not about the money it's about the performance you are paying so much money you need to get your returns so that is very important you know these small technical things that you talk about during the demo this is the demo process all this is happening in the demo process you know gauging music talk put in the architect in a very very sweet space where he is uncomfortable in the sweet space you know so it's 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 it's, it's what you need to do you know? and these small intricacies about wiring electricals isolation learn those things and talk to about them those things you know and, and tell him and tell him boss it won't spoil your interior you know these are things that will enhance your interior put it in place so they get the idea now this is the demo part of the whole thing you know how you demo and how you impress the person and how you go ahead with this you know while that is happening there is something which is very important that most people don't understand you know it is called what i i need to be i cannot use uh, language which is not parliamentary so i'll say i call it off chatter post demo talk it's off topic it's off topic chatter it's got nothing to do with audio it's got nothing to do with say uh, this thing you know it's 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 called off topic chatter you know always when you're selling luxury talk luxury only and like i said talk watches talk shoes talk booze single malt booze everybody is a single malt expert nowadays talk about hypercars supercars engage in those conversations keep knowledge in those things because this is a rich man you know 
uh, and it's a rich person you know i mean uh, and if if you really have the persuade and sometimes you feel boss i'm getting too many ladies coming to the store also keep great knowledge of purses also sounds funny but when you will admire a great purse you are her best friend boss she uh, she will tell her husband this is a guy who knows how to understand luxury everybody else is selling boxes this person understands luxury you know that better half na you better make sure you admire what accessories they are wearing and all that you know i mean in a very polite and subtle way say madam beautiful purse you know and you, if you know the model of the purse you are a winner boss I mean, you won it you cracked it so that's a way about how you go about doing this uh, 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 keep that conversation post demo also happening and they will they will open up to you the client will open up and and, and do a lot of lot of uh, 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 admiration or mutual admiration as you can call it, you know so that's the sales part of it now in the luxury game no what happens sorry in the luxury game what happens is that this business is based on referrals what happens after the guy has appointed you and you decide and you have chosen a system and how you choose a system is very important so there's something called reality what is the reality and how you choose a system in reality no so the reality is number one the client wants ease of usage you know this is not a like i say i'll keep repeating high end you know this is not a high end game where you know there is that perceived notion of no gain without pain so i and guys are like that only if it isn't painful then it isn't good sound it has to pain them that cable is not right so you're not in that game with this person it's ease of use you know and here it is very important that you choose a platform you know because platforms are very fast you have to have a very uh, changing a very fast and i mean you have to have quite an open architecture you know so this new new thing will come out in a class i want to integrate this nahi sab nahi hoga finish over you know you broken his heart so you will have to have those i don't have the solution for that believe me even i get stuck you know but uh, I, we are learning you know i'm learning that how do you keep that gateway open you know for 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 doing that then there is consistency of playback zonally don't ever make the mistake in your life of saying this room we'll use this speaker from this brand then in that room we will use that speaker from this other brand along with different electronics and in the non critical zone we will put something else which is not important biggest dumbass mistake of your life because one of those three or four system is going to sound better than the others and he will never switch on the others and he'll say my money is wasted consistency along across all zones is very important very important when you're doing a multi zone thing okay do not mix up things you need to have consistent results and this was taught to me not about the audio part but the consistency concept and i would like to tell you this you know where i learned this sanjeev chona who's the bnw partner with burj and bunir one day he was we had put up a system in our i think a times av show and he used to come every morning along with burj to hear that system because it was a very different sounding system and he's he 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 really gives me good advice whenever he meets me not that he's my friend but whenever he meets me he gives great advice and he gave me this advice because he comes from the food industry big shot in the food industry and he said remember one thing you know anything you do in life in business has to have consistency if you're serving great food it has to be consistently good if you're serving shit food it has to be consistently shit food. you can't say i have great food one day shit food the next day people don't know how your restaurant works they expect something you know you can enter a mcdonalds you know exactly what you're going to get the chips will have like 5% variance but it's 
it's it's a McDonald's chip. You eat it, you know that. You know, it's consistency. And therefore, I learned that consistency is very important. You know, your consistency in your demo exceptionally important. Consistency in your in 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 your growth in music knowledge very important. Most important consistency of performance in a person's house. It has to sound like one time I walk from my living room into the bedroom into the library that consistency has to be there always remember that serviceability over a phone call you know anything that works can break also have a schematic ready with you for all your clients and always do the weak points of that system what can go wrong and it should be serviceable mostly in most cases over a phone call client gives a call tell him sir do this do that you know keep the system simple see that's the thing you know you will have to keep the system simple very simple complexity don't be an engineer boss you know engineering is to keep things simple not create problems you know don't 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 make an answer for a question that doesn't exist that's a problem with our audio industry guys you know are we'll do this we'll do that and you know we'll do this cabling and this speed and all that rubbish boss ease of use serviceability of on the telephone call and the product mix has to be minimalist minimalist product mix because that's what is the beauty of luxury you know minimalism is beauty and luxury so keep that very intent in your head you know this is the reality part post sales you know so keep that very clear in your head that avoid things that can create trouble for you you know at the you get enthusiastic and sir we'll put this we'll put that service you only will have to do it <laughs> he's ain't doing it and you are the one who got to run so keep it minimalist all right now another part of the soft part of post sales is you know how do you stay in touch with the client this is a word of mouth business it's 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 you know social media social media all very good it has its place but it's also a very big word of mouth business because rich people meet rich people they have rich relatives they have rich friends and so on and so forth always stay in touch with the client so that he can recommend it to others by sharing new music music videos or right. something new you see always do that also remember one thing that demo process in the luxury hi fi is different from the high end in high end you have all those audio file cds and this and that and the other in luxury sale you have to have music that the client is familiar with them you know play something that is familiar and sounds better on your system than other people systems i am from south bomb i'll give a simple thing you have your own regional client regional music all of that in south bombay i meet a guy he comes we talk i just put pink floyd you put that wall no? that guy immediately connects he's he's heard it through school he's heard his father play it he's probably heard his uncle's play it and now he plays it and he immediately connects and he says wow you know this is what i want to do and this is i want to live my life do not get into complex i am going to prove a point to you by getting some xr cd recording and all. those are for audio files don't do that with a live self never make the mistake so learn your music learn new music understand the genre the client likes close to the genre the client likes and share music with them they'll stay in touch with you okay once in a while invite them to your store when you got a new high end setup you may do luxury but you know, sir i got a new speaker i got a new streaming client you know or new cable every once in three times a year invite them. you stay in touch with them tell them to bring a friend along you know are sir come with a friend and all i got something to show you so he appreciates that you've not forgotten him after the sale you know? and you always are on his mind and in a party somebody or somebody comes to their house or some conversation come are yaar mere ko hai na naya ghar bana raha he will he will say boss don't give that music sale to anybody you got to go to my guy he is a killer he understands all these things he is not like a vendor so you will always stay on their mind one thing that i always do a lot you know and 
<laughs> you all probably laugh because those who know me is whether i am going or not i ensure my top clients get tickets to concerts they actually give me a call and say baba this concert is happening i need a ticket i say go and buy it it's not available i am usually sitting on about 5 or 6 of them usually you know <laughs> i have made sure that i have 5 or 6 of them anyhow that is the trick you know when you give him that ticket that he wants where he can't get he's never ever going to forget you ever i promise you this it's happened to me and it's it's a spectacular feeling for yourself that this guy has remembered you rightly so in your field and when you do this you know you have those tickets so you give it to the person and you and you and you and you, and you kind of say here you go enjoy yourself he is going to recommend you regardless of whatever happens as long as you keep the other things in place you know you can't not service the system and give him tickets that ain't working live concerts venues shows gigs is something that you have to stay in touch with. very important you get a feel of the client and you get a feel of the city you get a feel of what's happening in your neighborhood and that is something that will keep you very connected to high net worth people very connected so always do that practice that you know go to concerts if there is a show whether you like the genre or not go up you'll meet people you'll meet interesting people you know so engage in that now these are the topics of sales we have about 20 minutes left i mean sorry 10 minutes left of my my yarn and then you know the to and fro will start but i like long q and a's there is something called self improvement you know it's not a static business it's a dynamic business and changes fast there are more loudspeakers and amplifiers being introduced every day than cars being introduced by car parents give it a thought what i said there are more amplifiers and speakers and whatever audio equipment being released every day then cars are being released by car parents that tells you the size of 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 what's dynamic change is happening and you need to keep yourself abreast with that so always have a personal top end system at the place where you spend the most time it could be a house it could be office i don't decide that it could be a library but you have to have a top end system daily and you have to listen for 90 minutes new music okay you may have your favorites very good very nice three times in a week you have to listen to a new artist and understand that artist tedious difficult are time nahi hai was two time nahi nikale ka na if you don't take out turn for music you can forget that high net worth guy because you yourself are not, are, are not abreast with no, you you're just a vendor those boxes or people box won love the term agar acha lagta hai to so you have to listen to what 60 to 90 minutes of music every day on a top system you have to be abreast with a great sound people lose their reference very fast i have seen dealers you know who who lose their reference to good sound and 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 they can't distinguish between five great sounds so i'm not saying good sound and bad sound i'm saying you know there are five great sounds you hear you go to a show go to a high end show there are five great sounds you can't distinguish why you like this versus that one and you cannot even distinguish in between five bad sounds that's even more pitiful <laughs> so keep abreast with that okay visit the client's place once in four months you know as a as a to check the setup once in a while you know and the client will appreciate it but more than that understand usage patterns from them you know and that will help you improvise how to make it more minimalistic easier to use recommend equipment as per the dynamics of the usage over a period of time that's very important 
you know it's very important for you to self improve over there visiting clients houses is very necessary for that feedback you know usually we sell you forget till he gives a complaint are about this is not working and yet, no don't do that while it is working go and visit and and and, and understand the dynamics of that you know? because we need to self improvise you know? the last part that i want to talk about is changing trends with regard to what people listen to many affluent people now are traveling internationally have been for the last 10 12 years and they go there to have a great time and going to ibiza going to night club over here and there in london london you know ministry of sound whatever the problem is they go and hear that and we don't go and hear that. and he said i want a party sound your idea of party sound is the local disco or a local club that guy's idea of party sound is so changing trend of party sound people wanting to party in the house having large personal disco, disco, disco areas or night club areas is a reality it's going to happen is a part of luxury high five a uh, luxury audio and it's going to increase this part is going to increase people have more and more disposable income there you may think in wall in ceiling speakers and architectural audio that's fine but there's a trend that is there for high powered clean sound i suggest to people when you all go abroad find out where there are good night clubs with great sounding research not just where most crowd is in the boozes no which are the great sounding go there experience it because this is going to change and it's changing dramatically okay and i have done a couple of this i think few of you all have also done this but i am not a i'm not an installer anymore i don't install anymore i've had dealers who who done it but if you don't know how to party you are not the way i'm sorry it sounds weird okay but this is this is the the reality the trend is very important you need to understand that trend you know and 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 you need to understand all aspects of 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 luxury all aspects especially what happens for a rich man before dinner and post dinner because they are different and you have to be able to cater to both of these things you know and for that you need to have a before dinner and post dinner idea you know don't say are boss i don't go to a night club and i'm this and i'm that no, no boss you want to sell this is the reality this is the changing trend you will better be there on that boat otherwise it's over so i think i've structured it all for you all and uh, we can kind of open it up for the q and a for whoever wants to ask what so uh, thanks kj for the uh, great inputs that you shared uh, there is one question which i i can see in the chat window i'll just uh, ask that so the question basically is uh, are technical presentations and uh, things like room simulations uh, a part of luxury audio suites kj uh, do you have any thoughts on that what do you mean by room simulation is something that i would really like to understand you know uh, uh, do you want me to take it take it yeah yeah i want to understand sure sure yeah i want to understand. it's it's so, it's a question that's been put forth what 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 does one mean by room simulation so my take on what is room simulation is basically no i think you should ask the person who put that question oh yeah oh i'm sorry yeah uh, so i can see that the person who is asked the question is a zoom user so if you can maybe just unmute yourself and uh, ask that question in terms of what do you mean by uh, room simulation so zoom user uh, are you there currently you can unmute yourself please and uh, just mention hello to- Yeah. Hello, it's me, yeah. Marzban. Marzban. So, yeah. So you know, uh, recently uh, on another forum, there was a, a, a speaker, loudspeaker manufacturer, local loudspeaker manufacturer, who says that you know I do uh, room simulations with all the room modes, pressure, energy waves, and you know uh, all these fantastic diagrams and all. And once you show this, so hundred percent the client is going to be floored, and he'll hundred percent have to book the system and stuff like that. Because 
because uh, you know we actually showing him what is happening in his room and how we are going to fix it and what we are going to put where and how it's going to sound and all that so that's what i mean by uh, yeah, yeah. i i appreciate that question from that person and and thank you for bringing it up as well you know there are two things over here that you must understand a person making a luxury house is not making a specialized theater it's mostly living rooms bedrooms halls i'm not talking about high end audio performance sort so doing these things the architect will come interior designer will come take a bazooka and shoot you out you have lost the job you not gained the job you have lost the job this only works in a specialized room and that's the reality of it and number 2 room simulation i think is more helpful in pro audio you know you, you have target responses for a very large group of people and you're trying to average out a tonal quality acceptable acceptable not a great tone because everybody can't have a great sound few people will. you're trying to get an acceptable quality for a large target audience in a public space i think room simulation really works very well over there and it's a it's a necessary tool you know, i have a cinema theater i have a museum i have an arena it works very well but when it comes to a personal user no you can't tell him boss there go what car you want to buy he says oh, i want to buy that audi a6 you know and you can't say boss and now i'll make you sit on a simulator of an audi a6 with a screen in front of you and i will give you the best roads in the world you say paris you say london and you need to drive that simulator he ain't buying the car from that's it he is not buying it from you boss that's a nonsensical talk you know it's rubbish you know i mean so it's best was make the guy hear it no why will i want to simulate something who uh, want, no so okay okay yes, are, there yes, any, yes, are there no, are there any ladies yes, over here there are no ladies yes, here yes. uh, i think there are <laughs> they'll keep him out short no <laughs> <laughs> kj my point is see like many times in luxury audio it's not possible to have all the brands on demo and you know yes. so many times yes. it ends up you doing like what one of the brochure sale like you know or yeah. like a review yeah. sale where you tell the customer look this is a five star review yeah. product it has been this thing and you know this is what it looks like this is yes. what uh, the yes. size is all you're that. right yeah, i mean yeah like if i have to send a yeah, review yeah. so therefore I'm not be right demo so it, therefore right? i write the beginning i said get your product mix in place you know you, it's a demo demonstrable step table product mix you can't keep all brands you are not in luxury hi fi you know a luxury audio not selling the box you are selling yourself so you are selling yourself and i understand luxury better than my competitor i understand that lifestyle better than my competitor that is what you are saying that's why i said get your product mix right get that one demo in place that is so fantastic the guy says this guy knows what i want i may not buy this system because i can't fit it but he knows what i need to have for my luxury lifestyle so some of my some of my best dealers some of my best dealers have one system one my surat guy has one system he does 125 theaters a year all right i mean that's ridiculous not just my brands other brands but he sells through that one system and that one room so there are different approaches and i and lifestyle is not about the product anymore marasman it's more about the guy i mean look at you i mean you know i mean you can you are so well read and you understand music so well the client buys into you marasman he doesn't buy into that box how does you know a brand from b brand from c brand it's it's 10 days of research for him but he buys into you your knowledge your ability you know the difference in high end audio that guy wants he, to show you his knowledge his ability his his dadagiri and you have to cow down to that that's the difference but in luxury sales it's only you here yeah, bro a guy like you is 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 number one that's what matters uh, kj if i can let me add one point to what uh, mazban said with respect to room simulations i think uh, added to what uh, kishu said about room simulations being probably more useful in uh, pro audio room room simulations i think are a reaffirmation to yourself to the uh, maybe the installer or the designer as to whether you are doing it the right way or not i don't think it necessarily is going to make much sense to the end user unless the end user is technically oriented so maybe they could be a let's say a contractor or someone who might ask for those things but unless otherwise asked i don't think it is really going to make much uh, use to the end user per se this is my perspective of course 
and and the technicalities of uh, like the room simulations are something which i don't think uh, the common man is really aware about that's my take on it uh, there is another question can you can you move on yeah 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 so there is a question from premal bhai he asks uh, what is the future of uh, uh, stereo versus uh, dolby atmos ah uh, see basically i'll put it in a different way for you premal bhai by atmos no i i i i will not call it atmos what i what i what i will what i will call it is object based audio hmm. all right now once you have an object based audio it doesn't matter whether you have one channel or you have 24 channel or 48 channel so, so it's very interesting to even hear a atmos mix provided your preamp has an hdmi capability versus the original mix and sometimes nowadays the immersive object based sound is in two channel is many times better than the original uh, mix so that is one part of it you can play immersive content or at or, or not immersive or what i would say object based content on two channels also and it sounds great yeah. coming back to specifically atmos it's a it's a it's a, it's a surround music mode which can be enjoyed i mean you can do it and it, it is it's great it's just that you have to understand the user desire for it you know client may want it you can suggest it you have to give an experience of it and if they buy into it very good now the thing is all zones cannot be doing that you have one zone doing that you know and then there will always be the other part in the in the luxury that i want to party okay i, I want to have that drink in the evening i have a couple of friends and that whole scale is different you know so the question is not about atmos the question is about object object steered audio you know i mean i mean yeah. so i think that that is that is going to be the future i, I won't call it two channel versus uh, 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 multi channel i will talk about it being the new trend will be a singular singular object you know the object mix because even in two channel the dynamic range increases the headroom that you have is exceptional in, in that so you should actually try that you know you should hear an object mix on two channels versus the original i don't know which one will sound better because it's are down to the atmos engineer but many times we have found that you know in the two channels killer hmm yeah, yeah, thanks anybody else uh uh fenil makes a very interesting point and it's, it's a very good point which fenil makes he says that every one of us should have some background in uh, let's say learning some instruments or or learning classical music it's a good point which fenil makes i, I think it, it adds a lot of perspective in terms of what you bring to the table so yeah good point for him okay i mean uh, uh any other question anyone else has but yeah. push to it kitna noise kar sakte ho uh uh i would request people to unmute themselves in case of any questions and ask you can raise your hand on the uh, there is a window for raising there is a particular icon for raising your hand you can raise your hand and you can ask a question so uh, i have one more uh, observation uh, to make uh, in continuation with what gj uh, said so at the end of uh, most of our uh, of our installations what we do is we uh, offer a troubleshooting manual to a client to the client and uh, i think that that's something which is very helpful and this is a, a manual which we continuously update after every project in the in the event of us learning something new from the project so uh, what that usually does is like uh, typically in the event of any uh, failure or these are electronics they are subject to uh, prone to failure so we give the clients okay, if this happens do this if that happens do that 
And typically, the most typical use cases are covered by and large. And in the event of something else not, uh, which is not mentioned in that annual occurring, they are free to call us at any, any point of time. This also reassures the client that okay, this guy, these guys know what they're talking about and they are covering all, all grounds. And in fact, many very often uh, the kind of uh, troubleshooting calls that we are uh, we are generally called for are very very trivial. Like I'll give you one example which I faced in a, a site a long long ago. So uh, this is uh, more related to the, let's say the automation side of uh, things, but it's also applicable to audio also in general. So we had a, a client who called me at uh, ten thirty at night one uh, one one particular night. Uh, couple of months after the installation was done and he told, told that uh, Karthik, the app into which I am uh, doing the uh, like the app is not working on, the, on my mobile phone so uh, incidentally the client was just about 10 minutes away from my home so I told him shall I come right now he said no come tomorrow morning so I reached uh, the next morning at, at around 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, when I went there the app on his mobile was working perfectly fine so then I asked him what was the difference between right now and uh, the last night then he just uh, thought for some time and he said that uh, I think I turned off my router at night and I turned it on this morning. So that's such a, such a trivial thing and probably something that we don't bother to explain to the client that, okay, you're uh, supposed to keep your router on at all points of time in the event of you wanting to use the app. So such simple, simple things are what makes a difference in... Yeah, yeah, KJ, yeah. so but my point over there was that this is an automation and of course that's bound to happen in any automation. But, but it's, it's bound to in the audio auto, part, streaming, streaming, for example, yeah, you might so not in the audio part, my thing is like keep it as simple as possible. Simple and elegant as possible. You know, simplicity doesn't mean hey, it, it's stupidity. It's it has to be elegant. You know, the elegance has to of the solution has to be there. You no. Know? Uh any other questions? I mean. I mean, we have 10 minutes. I mean, you can ask me anything in this. Somebody has a question. I think Fenil put up something again. Uh, Fenil, you want to unmute yourself and ask anything if there's any question from yourself? Hi, KJ. Hi. So, um, uh, I've seen a lot of people use uh, the TCD as a presentation tool and try and explain the clients that, you know, see, we are simulating the room and where all your speakers will go and make a nice, impressive bunch of... Uh, papers, which is not actually an executable set of papers, but they still end up impressing the clients. What's your take on that? Have a system that takes the pants, pants of the client, no, as a competitor. <laughs> I mean, simple, yeah, boss. I mean, I, I, okay. I, 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 no, it's, it's the truth. It's the truth. I'll tell you one thing. Okay, it's the no. truth. Oh, can I, can I, can I just get, get yeah. uh, so there are a lot of sales, KJ, that these, uh, that these days happen just like catalog selling. The client doesn't want to come to your place. It doesn't have the time. The architect doesn't have the time. You go with the presentation to the side or, or the architect's office or the client's office, finish it off. Someone else comes with, you know, a, a book kind of a presentation with all these TCD softwares and everything and finally ends up impressing the client on that paper. You think uh, going that track makes sense? Uh, like, no, I, no. I, I'll, I'll tell you something. Okay. I mean, hmm. the, I think the word of mouth, especially, I mean, in, 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 in smaller cities, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and, and small, smaller cities. Okay. So, uh, unlike the hell hole that I stay in, uh, <laughs> but in smaller cities, people know each other very well. They're very well connected. Go to Rajkot. You'll we'll, we'll, we'll go to an They're very well connected with each other. With all the business clan, they know each other. So that's an advantage. And I'll tell you why that's an advantage. Okay. You put a 60, 70 lakh rupee, and, and, and I'm being honest, okay. Don't, 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 don't think this guy's talking nonsense. You put a top not 60, 70 lakh rupee stereo system, mm -hmm. which blows the socks out of you now. These, mm -hmm. these people will get to know about it within 60 days. Mm -hmm. Within 60 days, they know that you have it. Mm -hmm. And they want to come and hear it. See, however rich guys, okay. Tomorrow mm -hmm. I'll take you. Tomorrow you are in Bhavnagar, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say Bhavnagar Rolls Royce decides to open a showroom and they say, boss, we put the Phantom 8 Series 8 over, 2 over here. Mm -hmm. Abhi, whether the rich guy wants to buy it, not mm -hmm. buy it, I promise he'll go there to see it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. So, you know, once you have that system, and believe me, I, I, I can I can tell you with 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 full assurance, okay? Because we've done this. It's not that mm -hmm. I'm talking through my hat or something. Okay? Mm -hmm. I have a friend whose system I put up very often. 
you know the mm. big pmc mm. i've had guys who've made the decision to buy that in 5 minutes mm. in 5 minutes mm. in 5 minutes they say boss how much does this cost we say 1.2 crores mm. done i'm not showing off i'm not talking nonsense mm. i have not done it my dealers have got these guys to my friend my dealers mm. have got these people to my to my client to my friends house Mm. Okay, not me, my dealers, and this was five. Tak, done, boss. So my point to you is that when you have that mm. in a in a smaller city or a larger town, if you if I am allowed to use that term, mm. those rich people know immediately. Mm. In one shot, they know this guy has a system. He can break my bank account, mm. but he give me super pleasure with it. You know, <laughs> so mm. simulations, this that. I only have one answer to the client boss. If you believe in inflatable dolls, full power to. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, and I am the kind of and I am the and I am the kind of fucker who would actually tell a client. <laughs> Uh, KJ, I have one one more point. Uh, I, I didn't I didn't get that last bit. KJ, can you repeat it? If you believe in inflatable dolls, what? Then full power to you. And I said I am the kind of guy who will actually tell a client that you know. And so are you, boss man. You will tell him, boss. You believe in it? Buy it. You know. <laughs> okay. There is one point, uh, KJ, which I also just wanted to make. Uh, now, uh, very often when we see a, a, a affluent client, the first uh, thing that comes to mind is okay. Let's do all it all that it takes to impress him. Obviously, impress him. Impressing that person is one thing. but also the thing that comes to mind is let's let's go all out to make a sale and even if there is not potentially a sale there could be a thought in mind that okay we have to sell something uh and something that the client might actually will not do not want i'll just give you an example of a, something which happened just yesterday i was at a site where we were called for uh, doing an inspection and uh, proposing something and the client had a question whether they require uh, some isolation or not depending on the uh, the room and the uh, everything how the thickness of the slabs are and things like that so they just asked us a open ended question do we do you think we need isolation so obviously like when the, when a client asks you a question like that you you tend to believe that okay he or she does, doesn't know they are subject so well or, or probably they are wanting to take your opinion and expertise on the subject so the typical uh tendency would be for you to say ah yes there is a need for the, for isolation even then there might not be a need for it but if you do a proper study the, the, the best thing for you to so yesterday the answer was no there was no need because the structure was adequately uh, damped and like the the thickness of the slabs were adequate so we told the client it is not required and when we said no it is not required the client said okay are you are you sure yes we said it is absolutely sure it is not required then they thanked us for basically saying that okay you you saved us the trouble of not spending and they they actually indicated that we will come back to you for more things okay so, now you know i i i understand what you said when a client asks you that question now the first thing that should hit you is he is already talking to somebody else yes of course correct of correct course. of course finish so when that is there the approach to you Pravithu has is asked him, sir, who are you consulting? Mm. If you are consulting somebody else, mm. I suggest you stick with them. Mm. You know, because that yes, no, backward, forward. See, it's it doesn't concern this topic. This topic is luxury audio. You mm. know, those are different things. Those are site related things, and those are different. Fair enough. Fair enough. Here we are talking about when that guy enters your store or when mm. he meets you. what is the process of selling to that person you see hmm. that process is what we are talking about you know uh, showroom enter gauging demo genres of music your knowledge post demo luxury items architecture understanding having knowledge of 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 not architecture but interiors appreciating that so that the architect is put in their place you know these are the process of selling you know mm. acoustics is, is is you know i mean acoustics is an oft used term in our in our industry and those who understand it understand it minions like me don't understand it okay i mean 
I know, and this is the one topic where I need to keep my mouth shut. Mm. Right? I know that. Right? Because what I have seen, and I mean really seen, is so humbling that mm. I'm like zero point zero 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 one percent of of those dadas. Okay? Mm. So I keep my mouth shut. This one topic. Mm. But selling and understanding what that guy is going to buy mm. is where I can give you some guidance. Mm. All right. I don't know. Is Burge there on the group? Burge said that he will join. I don't know. Burge, are you there? Burge, like, yeah. so so here here's here's a, a corollary to this what you're saying, KJ. So here's my point. Uh, when uh, you're trying to do luxury sales. You've got to ensure that your demo room sounds fantastic, right? And you've got a system which is going to knock his socks off. Agreed. What happens when you yes, sell and absolutely. make that sale, and and you make that sale, and then that system goes into a room which is untreated, uh, which is not acoustically, you know, the best for the yes. uh, for for Correct. a listening room, and then the customer is going to be really decide what the fuck. Correct. You so I will I will come back to you. I'll come back to you over here. That system over there is not to sell. That system over there is to make him understand that you understand your job. Afterwards, what you sell to him, tell him, yes, I'll have to inspect your house. That is process too. But you need to knock his socks off because if you don't knock his socks off, there is no conversation also. Yeah, absolutely right. I think it's that... not even a starter, you know. So the thing is that you need to impress him. Okay, he said, "I want to buy this." He said, "Buy this is a very, very nice and fine." But you see what I've done to the room. You have to do this for this to sound like this. You are not going to do that. So you need something which you can use every day, and which is reality. This is to show you what we are capable of. If you yeah. give us the full freedom to do it, then I can do this. Yeah. Never say I can't do this. Say, "Boss, I can do it." Provided you allow me to do it. Maybe that condition is always there. The proverbial see, it depends. It depends. <laughs> you know. You know that i mean we have you have had clients i have had clients we've all have clients who say yeah boss this room is yours do what you want and we've achieved it and there are clients that i can't do it boss my interior design not going to allow okay all right we'll find another solution for you that system over there is just to impress the guy that you know your onions in audio that's why i said high this is the only point where high end audio and luxury audio are joined at the hip mm. So, so you mean to demo. say that in in luxury audio selling, there is no role to play for acoustics, right? Minimalistic. Little bit is there, yeah. I mean, now little bit is there is always there. I mean, it's I mean acoustics is 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 is. is. Now what is see the good thing now, Marasban, is that acoustics and materials are moving so far ahead and so fast that it's a part of the basic package. No, 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 no. The materials that are being used nowadays are acoustically. I mean, you have concrete which is acoustic. You know, you have you have micro perforated concrete. You know, you have shapes yeah, and concrete. Yeah, you, you you also have acoustic wallpaper and acoustic yeah. paint. Uh, acoustic paint is only only solves mid-range slab echoes. Yeah, you know. No, but the the concrete actually works on micro perforation. Yes. You know, so, and it and it works on shape bending. It's it's not just I've stuck a wallpaper. You know, it's actually a. A shape bending, uh, but see, those are subjects we are not talking about. But coming back to you, what you are saying, yeah, you know, uh, 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 we need to find solutions here. You know, I mean, the reality is people have money. They are. That's why I say Indians are very different. You know, our houses are hard surfaces, marbles, hard stone, hard ceiling. You know, I mean, and we have to find solutions in that. You know. And, and and of course we all do yeah we are all smart intelligent guys yeah boss we are not fools you know the the aspect is not about how good I can install the aspect is how do I start the game with the guy who's got money that is a game that is an important thing you know. Uh, any further questions from the audience? Uh, we have time for I would say about two questions more. Yeah, I would love to hear it because you know it's a to and fro kind of thing. Not for yeah. me to also learn. You know, I would appreciate yeah. somebody asking something. Uh, anyone having questions? Please raise your hand on the chat window. <coughs> KJ Fenelier. KJ Fenelier again. Ah, bolli. So, um, how how I we also want to understand how do you analyze 
a sale that we have lost a sale that we have not made how do you sit back and analyze where we went wrong what we did wrong and why did we lose a particular project yeah um, okay that so, that would be helpful yeah yeah so this is this is a very very interesting topic panel has brought up you know i mean fantastic question you know? okay so so uh success rate at best i have seen okay panel so I'll, i'll give you a best best rate success that i have i have seen in my life is 80% you know you give a demo to five guys four guys buy from you this is the best rate standard rate of uh, is i think around 50% 10 guys come five buy from you five you don't where it hurts us most is the really high net worth guy who comes to us <coughs> sees our demo and doesn't buy from us that's where it hurts you know that 70 lakh rupee job you know like he's gone you know, scratching your head you know mm-hmm. there goes my vacation kind of thing <laughs> so the first thing that i found and and i'll be honest with you is that the bloody architect is got a khacha and he's taken it up end of story <laughs> that's the end of it that's the biggest biggest problem you know i mean they have a they have this khacha thing and they take it from you and uh, this guy doesn't know anything and then you know the architects like success so that, that's reason number one reason number two is that the client has lost because you know what happens many times you know guy begins with a budget for his house 3 crores is the buy about a very 15 crore rupee apartment in 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 blue in dl uh, in, in india bulls blue 15 crore apartment 3 crores for my interior and then that 3 crores becomes 4 and a half crores mm. which is a typical thing that happens and then they and, say boss mm. i can't do this and he, you've done everything right he wants to work with you but the marble costed more than what it was supposed to cost the sofa furniture recommended earlier is now not the same and it that cost has gone up so then we are not in a high priority game and then you know sometimes they feel bad so there are some plans to come back and say boss mera budget nahi hai you know i mean i know you gave me this great 30 lakh rupee solution i don't have the budget i have been screwed max i can do is 10 lakhs you know but indians big indians and not like westerners or western or german will come to you and say straight away or i don't have the money i appreciate what you did can you do it cheaper indians feel bad yaar maine fenil ke paas se i made fenil work hard i can't show my face to him again you know <laughs> so sometimes it's not your fault also is the poor guy feeling you know like yeah, yaar i can't show my face so those are that's reason number 2 reason number 3 which is a very high probability the sickness of air fares being very affordable in india mm. so that guy will get up from gujarat and say i will go to chennai and i will hear xyz brand or i will go to delhi and i will hear another xyz brand and then they will go all around now this is that 1 crore plus game na they find it very useful to invest that 1 1 and a half lakh rupees in traveling making their final decision this is reality mm. and somewhere somebody <clears throat> has given him a great demo which has mm. superseded yours which mm. can happen it's not that mm. can't happen of can course happen. of course and he has decided to go with that person all right mm. many a times besides a great demo we have a curse in our country and i call it a curse okay it's the distributor is the dealer also mm. nah. so he can cut that dealer margin out sell directly to a high net worth client he's dropped mm. his pants and you mm. can't drop yours because you're a dealer mm. Mm. All right, so mm. that curse is there in our country. All right, you gotta live mm. with it. Mm. It's a reality that you live with, and and most people don't realize distribution cost is different from dealership cost. Mm. So even if there are dealer distributors in the group, I tell you one thing, boss, you will always <coughs> fail after a cycle of six years because your dealership cost is something that you have not factored in. Mm. All right, and I've done both. I've done both. I work for manufacturing also. Mm. all right so <laughs> each one has its a cost okay i'll give you a simple idea okay if a product cost 600 rupees all right 600 rupees is the retail price of product 600 rupees in usd i'm talking forget indian customs freight weight forget all that i'm talking about the country where it's been manufactured if the product cost is 600 rupees manufacturing cost was 100 rupees it's a 6x game always mm. 
you try to do below 6x in any one of those in that chain in that food chain that business will shut down within 1000 days i promise you that direct to customer trial period 30 days bring it back the brand will go to sleep within 1000 days i have seen it happen with waveform mm. peter otwas genius of a loudspeaker i mean uh, manufacturer he, he got paul barton to design his speakers waveform went to sleep stereophile product of the year it was for two years consistently went to sleep yeah so you can't break this chain everybody understand in luxury audio you can't break this chain 1 is to 6 is the standard norm you know mm. you may discount later and bring it down and you know fight with the distributor a boss itna bada order is big order you know you give me good price but don't try to break this chain you will not survive mm. you will not survive i promise you and to all my friends over here who think you know i will discount and win you will lose yo you saying i will discount by 10% tell try telling a staff guy na boss are boss i sold at 10% discount you take a 10% discount in a salary <laughs> his salary doesn't change his salary remains at full no so my thing is luxury has to emulate luxury hmm. you start acting like a beggar by cutting his salary he be like a beggar your client can see it over there and beggars can't be choosers no no your client perceives it yeah Beggars can't be choosers. No, no, choosing is different. Karthi, you are saying something. I am saying that guy over there is so smart. See, a guy who is spending money, na, Penel is a very smart mm. guy. Right. He mm. immediately perceives that boss, this guy, na, is a. I mean, for for my friend, a word that my friend Mazhar uses, chindi chor. Ah. <laughs> he perceives it. Mm. And if you are a true luxury guy, you can enter a client's house in torn jeans and chappals, mm. and he knows you are the guy who is going to do his job. because he perceives it that's why i tell karthik always you know high end luxury sales is a perception mm. it's what that guy perceives of you and therefore what my, my point back to marzban <clears throat> the minute you give that high end sale that great demo it's what the client perceives of you this mm. guy knows his onions thanks sir okay any other questions from the audience uh, a last question that we can have Anyone else from the audience who wants to ask a last question? You can even give me a case that you face, and then you know some trouble you're facing. I'll 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 tell you how to circumnavigate that. KJ, can you just elaborate on that six uh, six uh, thing that you were talking about, if you don't mind, please? In the high end business, in the luxury <laughs> business, that doesn't work in the pro audio business. No, I I know that I'm talking about that uh, in the luxury audio itself. So supposing I mean supposing supposing something costs hundred rupees to manufacture. You're talking okay. about the manufacturing. The cost. retail price. Yeah, manufacturing. Or the your, manufacturer's your sale, okay. selling price. No, no, no. Cost, 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 cost. Okay, cost. So if a manufacturer has made something and it cost him hundred rupees, salary, staff, rent, whatever parts. opportunity cost of stocking therefore the interest on that cost you 100 bucks your selling price will have to be 600 rupees uh, kj one one more question added to that so the, the cost is including the fixed cost and variable costs all cost put together all so cost put together see I you're on manufacturing boss you have to you, you you will have to have an open window for the variable you know the probability of x is always there Yeah, learn that in economics very very thoroughly. Yeah. You know, yeah. in game theory. Yeah. So, so you're talking uh, about six x is the final uh, the re, uh, the suggested retail, retail price. Suggested, suggested, suggested retail price, price to the customer end customer. Yeah, end yeah, end customer. Cost. Suggested retail price. Yeah. Suggested retail price. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, KJ, okay. In the absence of any other questions, uh, do you want to just summarize the entire discussion? Or? No, I think everybody got what this. Fair point. Uh, Sandeep has got a point which he has mentioned in the chat. I have input on the factor of Sandeep. Uh, you want to uh, elaborate on that? Sandeep, you can unmute yourself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hi, Karthik. 
So see the point what I would say, see we are into manufacturing. So what KJ says about a manufacturing factor, it is applicable, but that factor depends on a lot of other parameters as well. Uh, but one thing for sure is that I don't know how many of you have heard about Mandel Broad Set. Sorry? I think Karthik would have heard that. Okay, there is Mandel Broad Set. Mandel Broad Set. Yeah, yeah, for fractals. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So now the fractal. So now the point in that fractal, it says about, uh, you know, how, how you know, the population count becomes more or how the population doubles or, you know, reduces and all. So there is one factor, what KJ says is right. So if that factor, if that factor is not right, then you know there is no chance that business would survive. That multiplication factor, I mean, if, if that factor is too high, then there won't be enough sales. So there is there is a sweet spot in all that. So it depends on various various factors. I mean, it depends on um, what I call uh, uh, the location, the country, and a uh, lot of other parameters, a lot of other product lines with supporting all that. So this is my practical experience. Yes, you would have the factor. It depends on how it is, but you should also now consider the COVID scenario. How many people were ready for the COVID scenario? Right? So that factor, if that was too weak, for example, if that factor is too weak for any scenario, then there's no chance that company would survive. So, uh, yeah, so it matters. Yeah, Depends. I mean, sometimes it could be 4x or 5x or 6x. Some companies I know do like 8x, 10x also. Yeah, they do 8x and 10x. They are guys who do that. Yeah. Those, are those, those are those very off-tangent people who do it because, you know, I'll tell you why they, they need they, to do that. They, I think usually they usually the guys who do eight to ten guys ten uh, x are uh, boutique kind of brands. Uh, yeah, because I'll tell you what. See, you know what 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 happens in luxury high five, you know, and and why those guys do ten x, okay? Because when they when I'll I'll say Burmester, okay. I, I I will I will I will name the brand, okay. So like Burmester. So when Burmester buys a a can't speak driver for their woofers. The tolerance of the drivers have to be within 0.5 dB of each other in matched pairs. Mm. You understand? It has to go in matched pairs. So serial number 1314 may go with serial number 1393. You know, that's within 0.5 dB of each other in the thin small parameters. You know, I mean, also not just the frequency response, but in all other parameters. First, can't speak to give you that match pair. They have to make 50 drivers to get two right. Right. Okay. The cost of that drive unit of transfer, you know, I can go to Scan and say, I want a driver, 60 euros a driver. For that match pair, Scan is going to tell me 200 euros for that. <laughs> now, you go to the chrome plating. You try to do chrome plating in Germany, you know, because that guy has to wear a hazmat suit and a space suit to do chrome plating. So that cost of that goes through the roof. So those are the costs that, that are involved in such kind of brands, you know, which do 10x and 12x, you know, because it's meticulous, you know, it's, it's jewelry. You're not paying for audio, you're, you're paying for jewelry, but then jewelry has got no, <laughs> has got no, uh, what should I say, factor, you know, jewelry is jewelry. You like it, you'll buy it, you don't like it, you don't like it. So that's audio jewelry. Therefore, uh, Luxury is different from high-end audio and different from audio jewelry. They are different things. You know? To me, I'll tell you what is an ideal, ideal, ideal. Uh, 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 what should I say? A luxury system for me. Okay. I I, I can even say it. I mean, I, not the brands that I do. I will say brands that I don't do. So everybody is comfortable. Okay. To give you an idea. I would love to do a system whereby. I'm using Dyna Audio Involves, you know, Dyna Audio Involves or Morel Involves throughout the house because they have a very consistent performance in what they do. Okay. The in ceiling speaker, Involve speakers with concealed subwoofers, with very good amplifier from somebody like a, maybe a Cambridge or, 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 or a NAD, consistent cabling by Vandenhall throughout the house. I would love to do a site like that because it is consistency. You have a great brand, great sound. You're not putting a dynamic consequence. You know? It's not that. It's, it's, it's that you are giving the person, when he wakes up in the morning, he's having his breakfast. There's something going on in the background which is pleasurable to them you know, in their high stress lives. So 
that is what i consider luxury audi you know that 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 innate ability to get up put on my phone start a piece of music that i want to start you know so therefore when i say you need to listen to 90 minutes of music yourself daily the context is you have to live that life of that person right to understand what what he goes through hmm. so that's what i'm trying to say you know that's what is luxury luxury it's 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 it's, it's not about i use ordinary speakers you know i use brand a or brand b there and brand c there you are not doing luxury then you are doing what is there lying in my warehouse yeah. which i bought at a great price and how am i going to get rid of it correct okay. that's not luxury hi fi that's box movie sure. you know please don't practice that i mean if you are going to talk about luxury, don't don't practice that you know i understand margins commissions all of that is very important in a business to survive we all pay for real estate we all pay for stock but achieve consistent results if somebody is giving you 100% margin and you are using i bought for 100 and selling for 200 full power to you but the day you can't use that product in a client's house and where you have to use somewhere i bought something 100 and i would sell it at 125 to achieve that result do that right do that that's luxury and yeah kj i just want to give my input on uh, just now the way you said uh, the driver drivers which are matched you know and i i really have to say yes uh, because uh, i remember the way you play the speakers and you get the imaging so perfect that you know in order to get that perfect imaging you need uh, matched drivers and i have seen i have even tried out these drivers and two of the drivers completely inconsistent results you can't get the imaging at all and the kind of magic that what you do with the placement the way how you do you need that matching i agree that what you say and i guess that's of course one of the prime reasons for the the cost that you are paying for and uh, yeah the consistency have- is extremely hard yeah the match drivers is is i mean it's a it's not just a match drivers it's even after burning the match drivers you know maybe that that is even that's why that's why kj your your Send burnt in drivers to these people. They put in 150 hours, and then it send it to the people. You know, right. so 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 the, yeah. Of course, after I mean, you know, earlier we used to not understand uh, driver behavior after burn in, mm. because the earlier instruments like Melissa and all that, like Kepel allows you that. Mm. You do a put on Kepel, it will show you what happens. You know, post post burn in. You know, and and many people ask me this, and Sandeep Sandeep has put up a good point. and uh, barasban also asked this and therefore i will since andeep is extended I will, i will say it pro audio will always cost less than home audio because of this one reason a uh, high end home audio i'm not mm-hmm. talking about standard home uh, cuz pro audio is is dsp capable power handling is more important not not blowing up is more important than match drivers or 100 100 drivers matching two of them so therefore those things cost those weird amounts of money you know and and believe me i'm going to say this and i'm going to i hope i don't regret saying this i was just selling my daughter that day i did it for yesterday because now she's a director in a, in 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 the company i was selling her i think high end audio guys have just lost it in terms of pricing they 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 they've, they've, they've just they've just lost it in in the indian context i'm talking about our context i'm not talking about uh, the rest of the world in the indian context i think you know it's sad i'll give a story I'll, i was sitting i was sitting with a uh, for a pmc dinner with a distributor and the hong kong guy who was the biggest distributor of pmc was there you know and and, and he does a large number okay in 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 terms of what he buys all right he's the largest distributor of pmc but i told him man you're a titan that that chai, that hong kong chinese guy said pmc small business for me not big small scale i said what the small business not big for me i said what do you mean big He's saying i do burmester burmester big for me i said what He said, "I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do four million euros a year of Burmester purchase price." I was like, "What? <laughs> four million euros a year of Burmester?" So I said, "Where?" So he says, "Mainland China." I was sure. for him, PNC was a small business. For me, it's my biggest business. I mean, <laughs> small business. So. 
in terms of high end market for indian context i think these manufacturers have lost it i mean they we are not even in the game we'll have those yeah you know we'll have one of those guys one or two guys a year who will come and say i want that 120000 dollar loudspeaker 120000 dollar speaker each this each dealer each dealer will get two guys like that i mean each distributor will get maybe two guys like that the high end distributors that guy does it on a weekend yeah so oh. the context has to be there so luxury high fi in india is very different which is one thing i said right at the beginning you know it's very different uh kj there's one last question which i would uh, like to take uh, this is from naresh uh, from hyderabad yeah uh, he's not not able to speak he's got some uh, throat infection so he's uh, posed the question to me um, i'll just uh, read it out what if the client and the architect are nice nahi hai bolta thanks what what to hai uh one second person boss in this you know is a very dangerous person hmm. because you know what they have no, okay do you have a crystal ball in your hand mm-hmm. you don't are you some bloody antaryami that you'll understand what he wants without you ever meeting the guy hmm you're not a truth seer barabar na i mean don't get into that boss i mean i i, I it's you know like i say one bad client however high end can take away the joy of 10 good clients they'll just mm. take it away like this you know they'll put in misery mm. so be very careful of what you choose okay mm. very important it's a very good question i love the question i would have never thought of giving you this putting it in but i i would suggest that this is a wonderful question that you put for and that's the answer ignore this person Uh, if they don't have time to give you you are not somebody who's owning a crystal ball trust mm-hmm. me are boss we have problems after we meet the client and sit with him right. for three times let right. alone never meet <laughs> can you imagine the horror the right. horror of it right. right great i think uh, with that we are exactly almost 90 minutes into the session uh, so i think uh, kj Do you think we should call it a day, or maybe continue? Okay, uh, yeah. Abhishek is asking one question. Mm. Uh, Abhishek asks, why is expo- exposure to luxury hi-fi not high-end in India compared to international market? Will having more audio shows help in the growth? The only one. Okay. Sound- yeah. Okay, so I'll answer this for you. Okay. uh see we as a country you know have lot of real music live music at a village level at a village level folk music is very big they are not into audio boss it happens every day of their lives okay singing dancing in the night and the evening westernized countries have huge high end audio following because they have concert halls they have churches they have cathedrals music is interlinked over there as your life you know mm. and they want to hear and and they've marketed very well so go, you have to go to the music part of it huh? okay let's say for example common symphony beethoven symphony number no. 5 okay what these guys do is do you know how many Symphony number no. five versions exist with conductors yeah. and and concert and, and orchestras. It could be in the thousands. Yes. All right. And those guys say, "I want to hear Boston Philharmonic." Yes. With Charles Munch, nineteen fifty-four. That version versus Herbert von Karajan mm. in the sixty-three cycle yes. versus the eighty-one cycle. You know, so. they have the drive in them 
we want to do chamak chalo we want to listen to boss in our cities see we are not listening to music there's a wonderful song you know you guys should actually hear that song and hear it very well it's by porcupine tree you know steve wilson steven wilson it's a song called the sound of muzak m u z a k hear that song read the words we don't listen to music our people listen to muzak muzak is something that is happening you know you, you go to cut your hair in the barber salon that same track is playing you sit in an elevator that same track is playing you go to a restaurant the same bloody those 20 happening tracks of that era is playing you go to a party you go to a club you go to a pub you sit in a car that same shitty 20 tracks are playing the same shitty filmy whatever dincha remix tracks are playing you know the white man doesn't do that the white man is very clear in his head the china is very clear in his head this shit is for the salon what i listened in my house is different mm. we want to have a hair cutting salon in our living room mm. and the elevator music in our living room okay. so when you have that there is no culture only you know of high end audio i'm sorry it's the truth boss you know people i'm very patriotic i'm very nationalistic as the next guy guy next to me but where we are wrong where we are wrong yeah Or where we are flawed we are flawed i'm not saying wrong flawed is the word in only high end audio context huh? no other context in that context of question we are flawed is the is the term exposure a right word in that context no no no, be- no 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 are boss no? I, I, explain one thing to me okay i this is it's a paradox it's it's, it's real paradox okay you buy you buy a big mercedes benz hmm. all right and when you have to be culturally correct let's say the guy who has a big mercedes benz or a big bmw how many of them are culturally intact i mean karthik i mean i'm not an expert in indian classic music of xyz gharana you know hmm. and has been following the indian classical music you know or carnatic classical music or jazz music there are very few of these guys with money who actually do that mm. there are very few i'll give you I just you know i i wrote about that on the group that day you know where harshal and me were there mm. yeah if you see that lady yeah. she is that ordinary looking decent housewife nothing exceptional you know she stood up she said boss you know what i mean what really stunned her i just wrote the piano part what really blew me harshal and i was sitting she got up while she was after she paid a bill and the cafe was empty there were two or three people i mean two or three tables only and i went and changed the music i put on a very rare violin concerto by max prak violin concerto number no. 1 she stood up and she came to me and said i really like that you played max prak violin concerto number no. 1 i my jaw dropped i never expected this lady to say this i mean out of the blue she walked up you know so i mean that's culture for you with one shot she said what i was playing you know? she said i have a baby grand in my house Wow. So, who will do what now, <laughs> and when you are not prepared for it? So that's why I say your demo has to be intact. Mm-hmm. When your demo is kadak, that person is you never know that person. You could learn a lot from that other person. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay, Jay. One last question, and I am going to call it an uh, end to the day today. So uh, it's once again from Narish from Hyderabad. Uh, I think this is uh, uh, you answer this question, but I'll repeat the question once again. Uh, how do you know if a client is the luxury client? I believe you also already took uh, this point right in the beginning. Maybe uh, uh, like uh, I will try try to answer on your behalf. Maybe uh, you you get some indicators like uh, look at what's the uh, what the person wears in terms of watch in terms of what. Uh, a goggles he wears or what footwear he wears or what kind of uh, accessories that he wears is that a, a one way of assessing yeah see 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 basic basically you know you need to you you need to have a very good understanding of those subjects yourself okay so i i i once had a and, and this is my great naseeb okay i, I will say a, a, a naseeb okay uh i was at a friend's house who loves pens all right and he had this japanese pen which is made out of wood a, a fountain pen which is actually carved out of wood i forget the brand name okay uh, because they have a couple of these crazy japanese uh, brands you know but this one particularly the it's carved out of wood and uh, i saw it and really appreciated it he said right with it i wrote with it and all that 
Six months later, somebody walks into a dealer's place, and he was carrying that pen, a similar pen. I I recognize because I went, you know, like all Kujli, we have, you know, I went to the internet and tried to get some gyan of that brand and all that, you know, started saw all the models and all. And this was like about ten, twelve years ago, okay? and this guy walked on with a pen, very ordinary looking gentleman. I mean, spin stripe shirt. Lovely trousers, good shoes. I mean, what you would expect in corporate Bombay, you know. But he had that pen. In one shot, I told my dealer, "Boss, this guy's ability is thirty lakhs minimum. Below that, he'll not buy." Also, my dealer said, "What? He looks like an ordinary guy." <laughs> that guy bought a thirty lakh rupee system from him. Exactly the figure I said. That Now, my nasi was that my friend showed me that pen. Yeah, he's a pen collector. He showed me that pen. So, That's something so, that comes through experience, I think. I think no, no, no. There is, there, there is, a, there is a universal intervention. You know. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> It tells you this True. shit is going to happen. True. So be prepared. You know. I mean, you see something True. new, observe it, study. It doesn't have to be about our business only. You know. True. It has to be about many, many things. You know. True. Great. I think uh, KJ, you have covered a lot of ground. Uh, Thanks a ton for your wonderful sessions and your insight. I think uh, we took a lot from this uh, in the in the in the in the way of, let's say making a luxury sale. I think uh, really a big thanks to you. A uh, big thanks. My pleasure, you, guys. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, KJ. Big thanks to the people who have joined and uh, have a great remainder of uh, the weekend. My thanks to everybody for listening to my nonsense. Thank you very <laughs> much. It absolutely wasn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, our take. Thank you, KJ. Thank you once again, and yeah. thanks everyone. Have a good weekend. See you soon. Bye. Bye.